Good evening everybody, so today I'm out on another wild camp and today brings me uh, once again to the Lake District and I'm up on Luffrig Fell this evening and Luffrig Fell is one of those really really lovely places really nice accessible fell really good for first time uh, fell walkers and it's also really really good for photographers as well because there's plenty of opportunities on Luffrig itself um, you know you've got great views uh, so the one behind me so we've got uh, Windermere um, just down there so we're actually up on the northern end of Windermere and kind of going around so you've got the uh, summit of Luffrig just up there and you get some great views down towards Grasmere and just around to my left you're kind of looking out towards Langdale and then there's also Luffrig Tarn which again you know features quite a lot in uh, quite a few popular images uh, by photographers. Now what brings me up here and this is another popular place with photographers and uh, I don't know if you can just see just down there there's uh, a nice ladder style and you got uh, got that really lovely dry stone wall there and again it, it's another popular uh, photography location and so that's mainly what I'm up here to photograph uh, this evening or potentially this morning I've not decided when I'm going which time of the day I'm going to do it uh, I think it will probably look better in the morning in that we'll probably get the sun shining on the other side of that dry stone wall and it's gonna light that wall up a little bit better so uh, but for now I'm going to have a little bit of a look around and see what's kind of in the close and immediate vicinity just to see if there's any nice compositions to be had maybe something that somebody's not really got before so yeah it'd be good to go and have a little bit of an explore uh, I've got some time to kill before this uh, really lovely light arrives hopefully so we've got some nice high altitude clouds this evening and um, you know it's been a glorious weekend so far so you know fingers crossed and fingers crossed for a really lovely sunrise in the morning so yeah looking superb right so I'm gonna go off and see what I can find and uh, I'll check back in with you guys when I found something Okay, so I've just come over to the southwestern side of uh, Luffrig Fell and I've managed to stumble across this really lovely composition here and it's not one that I recognise as uh, quite a popular one. So, uh, so the composition with this is uh, really quite simple. So uh, we've got the river just down there and we're using that as like a bit of a leading line to lead the eye through to the picture and then the fields just behind that they're kind of being lit up by the uh, by that evening light and it's quite good because you're being diffused by the uh, the very thin clouds that are up there so we're kind of got to let get this hazy light through but it's nice and soft so it's not too harsh on the landscape and then beyond that you've got uh, you've got the layers of of contrast there so you've got like the the smaller fell in in the background which is quite prominent and then as you go deeper and deeper into the image it kind of uh, fades away in that haziness so yeah it makes a really really lovely image so um, to get this uh, 0.9 soft edge grad on the front just to try and bring some of that detail back in the sky but uh, you know it's quite it was quite blown out when I was taking the images so you know got a little bit of detail there but not much but I'm not too fussed about having too much uh, sky detail and 
then we're also using a polarizer on the front as well just to kind of take out a little bit of glare and also just to enhance the, the vibrancy of the of the image uh, and settings we had that on f11 and we were shooting uh, around about a tenth of a second eighth of a second so i did a few shots so the shot i'll use in the in the image i'll pop all of that in the description again iso 100 uh, so yeah made a really really lovely image that one so what i think i'm going to do i'm going to uh, get a few more shots uh, and then i'm going to fly the drone about and then i'm going to head back to the tent and um see what the light does over there because what i'd like to try and do um previously when i've well camped before i've taken an image of the tent where the you get some really nice ambient light uh coming from the coming from the tent itself and hopefully we'll get some colors in the sky that's if we get some colors in the sky it might not work to to that but um what i'd like to do i'd like to try and explain how i did that image um but if not i'll try and explain how i did it previously even if we don't succeed in actually getting uh like a similar image because it seems to be quite popular you know a lot of people really like that image so you know it'd be nice to try and explain how i did that and how i accomplished that so right i'm gonna crack on and uh so i'll catch you guys a little bit later Okay, so I'm now back at the tent, and as I mentioned before, um, I'm going to try and explain how to uh, replicate an image that I took before in a previous uh, video that I did. Um, I'll pop the link to that in the in the description. Um, but yeah, that's basically uh, I, I take a picture of a tent, and uh, you know you got the the nice ambient light coming from it, and then you've probably got a really really nice sky um, as a bit of alternative interest, uh, just to kind of make the image work now depending on which situation you're in there's actually two methods of doing this so in the previous uh video um that i, I took that image um the situation was is that i actually had the sun setting in the direction that my tent was in so what i did is i just did one exposure once the sun had completely set and you still got a little bit of ambient light kind of uh on the horizon um i just popped the filter on you know a 0.9 soft edge grad or something like that um, I've also, you know, leave a polarizer on as well, and um, I put like a head torch on in the tent, or I I've actually got a lantern which I hang, um, and then just do that, and just take one exposure, and then just then edit it in pro post processing, you know, uh, as uh, and how you want to try and edit it. Um, so that's that's the kind of simple way of doing it. Uh, now, in this particular situation, you've got the sun setting behind you, so you're only going to get the good colour in the clouds there more probably when the sun's probably still up so there's still quite a lot of um, light about to uh, not really enhance the ambient light coming from that tent so what you're going to have to do is try and blend two images together so in this situation uh, now I'm going to take this picture it's not going to be the best picture because we didn't have the best light over there um, 
uh, but I've, I've, I've already taken this image so you know f11 iso 100 um, shutter speed will be in the description but I did use a, a, a filter for this just to kind of keep the detail back in the sky um, not that it matters you don't really necessarily need the filter on there uh, it's because you're only going to be exposing for the sky and then you just need to leave the camera there you know it's, it's in position once you've taken that image just leave it there don't touch the zoom don't touch anything on it um, the only thing that you're going to be touching is probably the settings to try and expose it for you know the uh, the ambient light coming from the tent so you're going to be probably taking a bit of a longer exposure so you know that's that's pretty much what you're going to be doing is taking two exposures um, both at different settings one's probably going to be a longer exposure uh, and then once you've got those two images you need to then in post processing just blend those together in Photoshop uh, or any other software that you're using so yeah that's, uh, that's pretty much the basics of it really um, it's quite a nice simple image it's quite effective you do see a lot of people uh, taking those images especially in like uh, walking magazines and uh, camping magazines and uh, um, and also on the, the wild camping pages and stuff uh, and it makes a really really good image really really effective right so as I've been doing recently this might actually be a two-part video so um, the morning will be in part two so uh, yeah thank you very much for watching part one of this video and uh, I shall see you guys in the morning for sunrise guys so this morning I'm gonna to have to start off with a little bit of an apology using the dry stone wall as a little bit of a, a leading line you've got the ladder style as a little bit of foreground interest 